Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Jordan Soccer Vlog Videos. Uh, check this one out. I just got this one about uh, three, four weeks ago now. And I just got it all tidied up and I'll show you what I got going on here. So this is a 1979, I believe, wheel horse C140 hydrostatic with the 14 horse Kohler. Uh, this is the small block Kohler. Doesn't have the big, uh, big oil pan. Um, so this tractor I paid uh, $200 for this one. Uh, this one does have the pan for it and the seat, and the seat and the pans, everything's like in mint condition. It's the original paint tractor for the most part, uh, minus the hood that uh, decided to sit outside. I would love to buff that hood out to get it the same color as you can see. It's sun faded. I had to get that tire tubed. I did that one myself. I took this one to a shop and had them tube that one. I took the seat pan off and I power washed most of the tractor, but... I took the pan off and I found all this grime in here, so we're going to do that. I need to flush the tank out. I need to get a new gas cap. Um, and I also had to go ahead and uh, replace the solenoid because it was uh, jumping the two wires, these two top posts, and it, she was firing up. So I did that, and I got her to turn over, and I got her spark. She fires, and then it was throwing sparks behind the starter, and there was like, it was screaming and grinding and clunking and I couldn't figure out what's going on. So I just figured I'd start monkeying with it. And I went over here to start um, by pulling stuff off to pull the, the shroud off to see if there's acorns or something in the flywheel. And I got to looking and I got to playing and I went like this, right? That's me moving the flywheel. The nut here is all loose. This whole flywheel is falling off because it's throwing sparks on the starter gear. And I'm moving the whole thing and it's even tight. So I'm like, oh, I wonder why it's loose. I don't know. So then I'm like, well, I'm going to have to get the um, hammer thing that I have to remove these studs off. You know? So then I just took the screwdriver in here like this. Look. Two fingers. These are all loose. So the whole engine, flywheel, and everything is loose in this unit. So, let me uh, pause this, and I'll take that off, and we'll come back to you. Let me pause it. Alright guys, so I go ahead, I got the uh, flywheel off here. And I went to look at this bolt, see if it's loose. And it's not loose. But if you go like this, that's me moving the whole flywheel. I think the uh, fan plate, or the bearing for the engine, I think the bearing for the engine is shot. I'm trying to show you figures. That ain't good. See, that's me moving the flywheel without moving the whole engine. Yeah, and I can tell you the engine ain't moving because the belt ain't moving back there. Look how much play that is. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Pull this fan shroud off and pop that off and see if that's the case then this 14 horse here is going to need a rebuild and then at that point $200 in this tractor doesn't even pay to finish redo it so let me uh, pull this stuff off and uh, pull that flywheel off and see what we got be right back with you all right well I got all the stuff off try to get the nut off with the hammer and the pry bar it ain't coming I'm going to have to get a puller and pull that off to look at it, but uh, it's not good here, guys. This is not good. That's all movement on the uh, the bearing and the thing's bad, so if that's the case. Something's loose in the back side of the flywheel. I can hear it grinding, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to pull this flywheel off, and if you look right here, that's anti-C. Somebody's been in here. I'm wondering if the stator for the charging behind here come off and come loose and ate all the things up. It feels tight. I don't feel any rod knock, but that's oh, not good, so... That's going to have to be a two-part series. I'm going to have to get my polar. 
out of my dad's house and we'll have to pull that off and see. So, that's kind of what I was going to work on tonight, but that's junk. So, be sure to subscribe, like, check out all the other videos. Either this one's going to be fixable or this one's going to be parts. It was a $200 investment. So, win some, you lose some. Like, subscribe. See you in the next video.